Go. Ugh, this homework is so difficult. How do you not understand it? I don't know, it's just so hard. Damn. How long does it and what caused that carry on? I'm so stressed. Hey, now what I'm doing? Exponential population growth. Exponential population growth. Oh, so like a Hippocratic vote? No, exponential population growth. I don't get this, can you help with this section? Am I alone in my thoughts? Do you share my confusion? She like, no, it's not hard. Get a hold of yourself. Sure. Yeah. She like, who are you general model? n times t equals n to the 0 power times e to the kt. n times t is your y, or basically your population size. n to the 0 times e to the kt is your y equals mx plus b. That's the, that's the equation you're multiplying by. t is the time and k equals a constant. Every 3 hours, the population doubles. However, if each bacterium multiplied every three hours, you would have an exact number every single time. And it would not be an exponential growth, it would be a geometric growth. So there's not really a in-between growth between maybe one hour and two hours. And that's where you get this exponential growth, because bacteria, some bacteria can go slower than three hours, and some bacteria can go faster than three hours. And that's where you get that really exponential growth that what you think of when you think exponential growth. Below is an example of what a culture of bacteria happens over time. However, it is the exponential and there's the arithmetic sequences as well as the geometric sequences. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, cool. Do you understand exponentials? Of course I have the credentials. I'm like, no, I don't mean logarithms. I just don't know the algorithms. I should have just taught you the course. Uh, why would you teach me? Why would you teach me? Just to enforce? Uh, I guess I assumed it would be easy. Maybe even a breezy. You ever talk to your teacher about this stuff? Then he like, no. I'm like, well, why not? He like, I don't concern myself with stuff that's not not. I'm like, boy, what you mean? He like, I don't believe. In exponentials? In equations. Oh, hold up. Hold up, wait. Boy, what you saying? That all the bacteria in the world just happens to be there? Dilly, dilly, dilly. What an enormous coincidence that would be. Do you see the resources? I can't see your source. Well, the population is always expanding. What, when there is limited, unlimited resources, there is an infinite bacterium. Why would that be the exponentials? He like, that doesn't sound sequential. I call that crap size. I'm like, oh, I guess you, now you're unwise. You think it's all size? No, I did devise it is all size. No, I know it's growth. Boy, I think we should study. No. What's going on in your brain right now? Brain awesome. Other math. A. I've been sitting in a desk listening to Hughes. I've been paying all my dues, all that knowledge. I think that I'm fresh out of college. Bacteria is always increasing. Hmm. I'm ready to teach. Who understands gross? That's brain. Who can teach both? Who make equations? That's brain. Who run this whole operation, that brain? Brain, can you just help me teach Cameron, please? Uh, can you just remind that brain? You're such an idiot. We're talking about exponential population growth and if equations exist. Don't call brain names. That brain can't know where to call. But if I can help Cameron understand, that's all. There isn't equations? So there's a thing? This ain't a thing? Yeah, they aren't. Brain, just teach him, please. I'll do it with ease. Exponential growth uses available resources. The size will only get larger. <laughs> Another factor that when t equals 3, n times 3 equals 2, the population has doubled, substituting the point t, n, t equals 3, 2 into 2. Now we can solve for the k and 3 by undoing the exponential using the natural logarithm. Using this value of k, our model in 2 becomes. 
Now that we have our model, we need to find the population size after 51 hours, substituting t equals 51 into 4 yields. Thus, we find that after 51 hours, there are 131,072 bacteria. And after all of calculating t and 2 and over 3 and putting in 51, you get 1,301 and 72 bacteria. Thank you.